Ezra Miller has been in the news quite a bit over the past couple of weeks, and Warner, DC, all the companies that are attached to him, they've said nothing, not one word about it. And here's what's funny. Let's imagine that it was Henry Cavill that pulled the stuff that he's pulled over the past two years, really, but we can just go with the past couple of weeks. They would have put a lengthy statement out, and they would have publicly fired him. Of course, the difference between Ezra Miller and Henry Cavill are checkboxes, Henry Cavill being a who what cis hetero man. Uh, he would have to be punished and publicly shamed. Ezra Miller, I don't even know what's going on with Ezra Miller, has several checkboxes and identity politics ticked. So therefore, everyone's silent because they don't want to say anything because they would look phobic, some kind of phobic. So they're just going to try to brush it under the rug. They've moved their entire DC comic book lineup down the road by a year because of Ezra Miller and Amber Heard, which I find funny. Uh, the two saints, the two angels. So they won't make a statement. They're hoping to just kick the can down the road and people will just forget about it. That's what's happening here. Let's not let them forget about it. However, there is one little interesting rumor that's popping up that they are considering at least talking about getting rid of Ezra Miller. At least it, this is at least according to Grace Randolph and John Campia. And I believe also that Umbrella Guy has said something about it as well. And I will be surprised if they actually replace him. But let's take a look at what people are saying. Now, to be, to be honest, I don't think anything is going to happen to Ezra Miller. I think Ezra Miller will get to keep working. All of the jobs attached to Miller aren't going anywhere. In fact, I think Miller will get more work as time goes on. But Fantastic Beasts is going to suffer so many things working against that movie. <laughs> so many things. WB discussing options to replace Ezra Miller as The Flash. A rumor claims that following the arrest of Ezra Miller, execs at WB are considering what to do about it. I can tell you what they're probably going to do about it. Nothing. That's my guess. But we can take a look at this and look at what people are saying. I think there's a lot of interesting stuff in this article. What should come as no surprise is now claimed that Warner Brothers is discussing options to replace Ezra Miller as the Flash, something I've been advocating for years. He's a terrible Flash. He's a terrible Flash. I, I agree with that 100%. And he's a terrible person. The rumor follows all the recent troubles with the actor, which includes Ezra Miller getting arrested in Hawaii for disorderly conduct and harassment, where another rumor fly, or another rumor offers Miller's problematic behavior is responsible for the recent release date changes with the DC films. I think that's true, but I don't think it's just him. I also think that it's heard. So you have two big movies with two problematic people, Ezra Miller and Amber Heard, being Flashpoint and Aquaman two. Big movies that they spent a lot of money on. And you have all this problematic behavior of these two attached to them. They had to move Aquaman 2 because of the six-week trial coming up. And if Aquaman 2 were to come out, I think it's finished from what I believe. Both these movies are finished. So if that movie were to come out, you're going to have the stain of that trial and her public image, which is awful, uh, hurting that movie. And then Ezra Miller acting like a fool, uh, he's he's going to hurt Flashpoint. I don't even know if Michael Keaton, Batman 89, coming back can save that movie. I think it was a Redditor or someone on Twitter that also brought up a great point that WB chose to invest in Miller instead of going with someone like Henry Cavill, starring in a Superman, Man of Steel 2. So I suppose WB sort of has this coming. As reportedly, WB knew Miller was a problematic individual, and I believe WB has never once responded about his past troubles. They haven't. 
but for some reason continues to stick with the actor, which also includes the choking of a woman while filming Fantastic Beasts 3 in Iceland. That's true. They've never commented on anything that the, he, that he's done. And that includes choking and body slamming that woman in Iceland. From what I remember, he at least choked her. Awful, awful behavior by Ezra Miller. And WB says nothing, but they sure did come out quickly and part ways publicly with Johnny Depp, didn't they? WB discussing the option to replace Ezra Miller as the Flash. Now, this is the big news right here, and I don't know if I believe it fully, but I do think it's being discussed. Uh, three different people now have talked about this. Like I said, uh, Grace Randolph, John Campia, and that umbrella guy have all said this. So I do think they're discussing it behind closed doors. They'll never come out and say they're discussing it. Because remember, Ezra Miller has several identity political shields surrounding him. And if you're going to fire someone like that or even reprimand them publicly, you've got to do it right and you've got to be careful. Otherwise, the 10% of Twitter will come after you. And for some reason, companies are definitely afraid of that. In fact, they're willing to lose tons of money to do it, to, to, uh, to avoid them. Look at Disney. <laughs> they're about to lose their self-governing status in Florida, all because of the mob. So regarding WB discussing the option to replace Ezra Miller, the rumor comes from John Campia on YouTube, who recently provided, provided that big time leak of Charlie Cox with Spider-Man No Way Home. So this rumor could very well be legit. And again, it does sound highly probable. Campy explains that he has a contact at WB. So he wrote the contact who ended up responding with an answer. So when stuff was going on last week or earlier in the week with the Ezra Miller stuff, I wrote to somebody I knew at Warner Brothers and just asked, hey, is Warner going to do anything about this? Are you going to address it this time? Is there a possibility you are going to part ways with Ezra Miller? And here's what he heard back. Not really expecting to hear anything back. And then last night, I got a response that was a little cryptic, but said they are discussing options. He continues, discussing options could very well mean a number of things. It could mean we have decided to get rid of Ezra Miller, and we are currently looking at the best way to go about doing that, says Campia. Okay, sure, that's one way you... You could look at it, but it also it could also mean they've decided to do nothing about it, and they are discussing how to spin that. That they are going to do nothing, I mean, it could mean a million things. Now, that's what I think they're going to do. I think they're going to spin it. What's the best way to spin it? Say nothing. <laughs> Say nothing and let it die. Uh, they're talking about, here's the Grace Randolph stuff, stuff right here, talking about problems with Flash. I think... They're going to do nothing about it, which is kind of messed up for, like I said before, if, if it would any, if it would have been anybody else, they would have said something. But Ezra Miller is a special case. I don't think they're going to fire him. I do think they're talking about it, but I think it's more so how can we spin it? How can we damage control this? Uh, how can we avoid getting in trouble for firing Ezra Miller? That's what's going on there. Uh, nothing's going to happen. And it proves once again, how deep liberal privilege goes. Uh, someone like Ezra Miller can do whatever Ezra Miller wants to do and face zero repercussions. But if it were me or you, uh, we'd be shit out of luck. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.